Jessica and welcome back to Remember Remember. So today we are going to finally take a look at the final route, which is Xavier's. And before we get started, if you guys would like to check out the game yourself, there's a link in the description where you can get it. And if you would like to support the creators, Michaela Laws and Ethan Nakashima, I will have their stuff as well down in the links in the description. And if you would like to see the full playthrough of my Let's Play for Remember Remember, there's a playlist there as well, so you can start from the beginning. So I'm just going to do Xavier's scenes right now, and we're going to see what he has to say. This room looks like just my- Huh? It's Xavier! He's alive, thank god! Huh? Chris! Holy shit, you're alright! Same with you. Are you okay? Yeah, I think so. But fucking hell, I have the worst headache. Blame whoever drugged us and dragged us here. Yeah. I hope the others are okay too. But, hey, where the hell are we? I don't know, but I think it's some kind of bunker. Literally, there's a massive room outside of this one. Well, fuck. Whoever did this to us must have some sort of plan or something. Okay, I when I first played this game, I was like, I like Xavier. Maybe just because he's a bit of a, like, you know, he kind of reminds me of that, like, asshole. He's not like an asshole asshole, but you know what I mean? Like, the personality of it. You really think so? I can only assume so. Why else are we still alive after being abducted? He does have a point. Did you find the others? Are they okay? I don't know. They were the first person I found. Alright then. Come on. Let's find the others. Oh, that's right! Xavier got electrocuted in the other route, so this time we're with him. Right. Interesting. Jesus, this place is huge. Yeah. Why do you think we were brought here? Like I know. All I know is that we were all drugged and tagged with these stupid bracelets. Oh shit, I barely realized that we had bracelets. What are these bracelets for? I don't know. But I want it. Oh! No! Yeah! And he gets electrocuted. Okay. As if this place couldn't get any creepier. Hmm? What do you mean? Think about it, Chris. All five of us are trapped in some sort of bunker, and the only exit is this laser-protected door. We are being kept here for a specific reason. Once again, I, I really don't know how the mass man has this much money. I presume he was a doctor before all this, because it would only make sense. How else would he obtain this amount of money? Unless he's, like, fucking, like, smuggling or something. Like, I don't know. What reason could it be? I'm trying to think, but I can't even imagine why. This is all just too weird. What kind of reason would any kidnapper have to kidnap a group of people? Unless it's like one of those freaky horror movies where the group of an unsuspecting teens are going to be tortured or killed or something. Now things are really scary. Way to say that, Chris. Hey. What? You don't think that we're gonna be killed or something, do you? Um... Xavier, say something. I can't say no, you nutcase. Okay. If he never wanted us dead, then he would have killed us already. What about torturing us? Uh, maybe. I should probably spend more time with Xavier. He seems to understand what's going on the most out of all of us. Is that necessarily a good thing? Who knows? Where is he? Oh, I already did this scene in my Let's Play. He's by the laser door. Why? There's no way out from it. Xavier? Huh? Oh. Hey, Chris. What's going on? Nothing. Just thinking. That's all. Thinking? What about? What does the laser door make him think about? Is he trying to find a way out somehow? Hey, what to do, and Xavier? Thinking about? about a way to get out. There's no way in hell I'm gonna let us just sit around waiting for some psycho to kill us. That's noble, but didn't we already establish that there wasn't a way out? Xavier looks pretty focused, though. I'll find a way out for us. There has to be some sort of weakness. Weakness? Huh? Oh, sorry. Game term. Game term? Why would you use them now? And how is weakness get just a game term? Game term? Yeah, a force of habit, I guess. Don't know why I said that. Got it, I think? So, remember anything? Huh? Not really. You? Everyone's shady! Yeah, I remember a couple of things, but they're not really helpful. What do you mean? I remember g for l g for l The thing on his shirt? What even... What even is on his shirt? You mean that logo you're wearing? So that's the rehab center that we learned about uh, through Lisa's route. Yeah. I think it's a game guild of some sort. It means game for life. At least that's what I remember. How did you know that? I just kind of looked down and thought about it, I guess. I see. Well, if he's a gamer, then maybe he can figure out a way to beat the system that's keeping us in here. 
Games are smart, right? I don't think I've ever had time to play games. What did I have time for? And why was Xavier part of the gaming guild? I don't think I've ever seen merchandise for esports like that. Hey, what is it? If you need any tips or tricks with that game you have to play, just ask, alright? I don't want you to freak out during it, even if our lives are on the line. Well, you know, to say this statement, at least Xavier's nice about it, I guess. I don't know whether to be freaked out even more by his statement or relieved to know that I have help. Yeah. Thanks, Xavier. Anytime. I guess there's just not a lot we can say to each other, huh? You can practically tell from the glance that Xavier is like an alpha leader. What does that make me in comparison? He seems so chill and cool, even though we're stuck in a really bad situation. Why, though? I'm gonna go rest a bit. See you at dinner, I think. Whenever we eat next. Hmm? Oh, sure. See you then. Xavier's being a really big support. I'm sure he'd be able to win every game the killer threw his way. I'm slightly envious. Xavier's image popped up in my mind, so I should probably follow along with it. Now, where is he? Oh, there. There he is, but why is he looking at the console? Wait, is he playing the tutorial game? Xavier? Huh? Uh, oh, uh, hey. Hey, what's wrong? Nothing, really. I was just looking at this game console thing. Uh huh. This is the game you have to play to keep us alive, right? Not that I really want to think about that now, but he's right. A game is what's keeping us trapped here. No, it's our memories. Yeah. It's pretty tough. Well, not really, but... Oh, no. <laughs> Never mind. Not gonna continue that thought. What? Huh? Uh, what do you mean by that? What do you mean, not really? Eh, it's just the gamer and me talking. Don't worry about it. Why, he's just calling him a noob? Is that what he's doing? <laughs> if you have any tricks that would help. Not really. The kidnapper changes the tactics and gameplay of it, so there's no way for me to give you proper advice other than get good. Get good, scrub. <laughs> that's a little douchey to say to a friend, you know? At least he's be at least he's a considerate gamer. So do you remember anything? No, not really. You? Little, I'm not gonna lie. Really? What do you remember? Just some college memories. I was a graphic design major. Yeah. Studying game development as a minor. Well, that's something. Yeah. But for some reason that memory is pissing me off. Huh? Why would it piss you off? Is it because of him doing drugs if or something? I had a clue, I'd tell you. But all I can remember is that I'm a gamer who studied game development, and it wasn't because I wanted to do it. Huh. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he go into graphic design and de game development if he didn't want to? Maybe he was forced? Oh. That's right. Xavier never really paid attention to his graphic design degree. He was an artist of sorts, but he wasn't really focused on it as much as one would like, like him to be. He often cut class and complained about missing assignments, giving excuses in the book. But he wasn't cutting classes on purpose. That guild of yours is gonna get you expelled, you know. I can't exactly leave it, Lisa. There are rules. Rules that say you have to attend their sessions, even if it means ditching academics. So from Lisa's outburst in her route, she seems to be the only one who knew that Xavier was doing drugs and he was going to rehab for it. I, I'm, I'm pretty sure she, cause she was so close to Xavier. But, huh? Shut up, Pete. I'm just saying, you're on a scholarship. No. Damn it. What am I gonna do? For some reason, the guild he was in acted like a full, full on cult, demanding every bit of his attention. He'd always come back looking a little scruffier and slightly more muscular, which contradicted everything we knew about ga a gaming guild. What are they doing? Lifting weights or something? What? Still, he was adamant on staying with it, devoted like a puppy. I think you should quit. I can't, okay? I just. Can't. Not yet. Not yet. Oh man. Uh, huh? Whoa, Chris, you all right? Yeah, just a headache. That's all. I'm fine. Oh, shit. Did you remember something? I do. I did, but do I want to bring it up? After all, I don't know if he remembers anything about his guild or if it had to do anything with Sarah. There would be no point in asking if it had nothing to do with Sarah, but it, it is a memory. Nah, I'm gonna fucking mention it. Yeah. I remembered you stressing about your guild. Huh? My guild? You mean game for life? Yeah. Apparently it was making you skip classes, but you never told us why. He remembers. Does he remember anything at all? Where will this even get us? I don't remember why, but I feel that you're right. Xavier doesn't get headaches when he remembers things, so I can't know if he's actually telling the truth. Should I trust him? 
I don't know why, but Xavier seems to be the best person to talk to right now. Maybe it's because he's the strongest person out of our group emotionally? Who knows? There he is. Hey. Hmm. Hey. He seems to be pretty uptight. Something wrong? Not really. I just keep thinking about our memories. Why would the kidnapper erase our memories and make us remember them if there's a chance for guilty? You know? He just wants to study the reaction. I I'm pretty sure that's why, right? He has a point. There's literally no point in erasing our memories if people will just hide them again. Wait, what am I saying? Am I really doubting my friends? Or am I right to? I don't know. Yeah, I get what you mean. It makes no sense if we have to find out anyway. Right? This is completely unnecessary. <laughs> then again, for a whack job, the kidnapper's probably getting off on us struggling. Yeah, most likely. That's mildly fucked up to think about. Still, we have to find a way out. I think I have an idea that might help us. What? How? I have a plan, but I don't think you or the others would like it. What, is he gonna bust open, like, the bracelet or something? For fuck's sake, just say it. I'm gonna try and break my I bracelet. knew it! I fucking knew it! Xavier is that kind of person. Oh no, you're gonna fucking kill yourself! What? Dude, do you remember? I remember what happened last time. But right? isn't the masked man hearing all of this, though? Because he's, like, in the room over there? Maybe? We don't know if it won't kill you. I have to try, though. I feel like I've handled something like it before. What does that mean? What? Huh? He handled execution before. What? What do you mean? It's like... Remember those stupid shock collars the frat houses used to haze rush candidates and crap? Like I would remember that, but it wouldn't surprise me that a shock collar hazing existed. Well, I... I didn't rush a fraternity or anything... But I remember my guild kind of put me through it. What? Wait, what? I think this is the first time I've ever seen Xavier look ashamed. Was this guild really that harsh on him? Yeah. Game for Life was not just a gamer troop, but it was also a militaristic. Oh, it's m militaristic! Oh, shit! Oh, no! Hey, fodder. Each of you are weak and pathetic. Why else would you be here if you weren't? You fucked up your real lives, and you're gonna fuck up your gaming lives. Thankfully, we plan to fix both. What? Game for Life advertised itself publicly as an eSport pro gaming group. Organized for top tier players who devoted themselves solely to gaming. It was expensive and had a majorly selective process, rejecting even the strongest competitors. However, it was actually a rehab for hard drug addicts. Mm -hmm. Writing almost militaristic and sadistic methods of punishment and training to break someone out of an addiction and make a strong pro gamer out of the remains. It was a perfect disguise for addicts who didn't want to ruin their reputations. I see. For it. I see. I see what it's doing here, but that seems a little extreme. I don't know. I, I never had to deal with anyone who had to go through addiction, so I have no idea, like, what, you know, rehab is really like for someone, but, like, Jesus. As fucked up as the group was, they had many devoted members who were thankful for the practices. Drug addicted scumbags who spent years with the group walked out like brand new members of society, <laughs> able to accomplish anything thrown at them with precise ease thanks to their gaming practices. Each of you has a nice little shock collar strapped around your necks. That's Why fucked you know, up. To three milliamps of electricity, but since we're not bitches, we've amped them up to release fifty. Oh, okay. So originally it's supposed to be three, but fuck that. Let's go to 50. That's perfectly fine. Just so you dumbasses understand, instead of a little tickle, you'll be feeling like you sucked off a metal pole during a lightning party. Fun, right? The game is giving you 10 minutes to achieve your objective, but we're giving you five. What the hell? Eight, and you'll be tasting your own internal bodily fluids. I suggest not fucking up. I don't know why I let them put me through their fucked up training sessions. But I felt like I deserved to be there. Oh, Xavier. I remember being desperate and uncaring of their cruel punishments. My folks paid for my membership, and I was signed to the group for years as part of my own rehabilitation. Okay, I can't believe a group like that exists. What kind of fucked up group does that in rehab? Jesus, are you serious? That's what I'm saying! Like, what the hell? It sounds like a cold like Chris said earlier. But I clearly remember getting more than my fair share of shocks. I even remember what their logo is actually meant to be. At what? first glance, it looks like a scale, right? Yeah, that's what I thought. It's actually a person holding up two buckets of water. Oh, really? Now that he mentions it. It's a typical workout if you think about it. Basically, you stand in place, 
lift two large gallon buckets of water up on each side of you. Oh, no wonder he got fucking jacked, because I'm like, what are they doing lifting weights? They're lifting fucking buckets. It's meant to build up strength as training, both physically and mentally. But it's also used as punishment. Every time I wore their logo and looked in the mirror. I would remember their lessons and stay as far away from my addiction as possible. I bet you think I'm really stupid, now that you know I used to be a drug No! Right. Look! In my opinion, not everyone who, who's addicted to anything, whatever the case may be, is a bad person. They're not necessarily a bad person to me. It's it's just unfortunate that they have to go through an addiction that goes on to a deadly level, you know what I mean? So I don't see Xavier as like a, like a bad guy or anything like that. It's not his fault. Or it could be his fault, but I don't blame him for you know, trying to fix it, you know what I mean? That's At least that's, you're doing something about your addiction, you're trying to make yourself better. So I applaud him for doing that, but to go through this kind of rehab is a little bit weird because they shock you and then make you hold buckets of water. Now I'm wondering how he was involved in Sarah's kidnapping. I'm pretty, once again, I'm pretty sure he didn't do it in, intentionally or maliciously like the others, but I'm just wondering how, what happened with him because he kind of scared Sarah away in the tapes. So, we'll see. Why would I think that? I don't know. I guess because I try to sound smart and shit. I'm just some ex-drug addict. I've only ever told Peter about it. So oh! Oh! And Lisa or Rosen. Okay, so, so, Rosa, of course, she doesn't know anything. But Lisa probably overheard it because she's so in love with Xavier. But she, he told Peter. Okay. That makes sense now when he just randomly outbursted during their fight. He's right. I don't even remember him telling me about him going to rehab, let alone that his gaming guild was a rehab. Why would he put himself through that? Anyway, my point is, if I've survived their bullshit, I can survive another shock or two from this bracelet. I... At least enough to try and break no, it. No, 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 I don't think this is a good idea. Are you sure that's a good idea? It's better than sitting here. Dude, Besides, I don't want him to die, though. If I break it, he won't have control over me, so I can try and get us out of here. He, as heroic as it sounds, what about the rest of us? Xavier, there's one problem. He can shock the rest of exactly. us. Exactly. Fuck, you're right. Why didn't I consider that? Seriously? Damn it. I think he's just thinking he can get he's us all out of here. He wasn't thinking about the game. others. And Xavier. Xavier really wants to help us get out, but I think this is all on me. I feel really bad, but if that's the way that the kidnapper planned everything, then there really isn't anything that the rest of them can do. I'm a little happy, though, that Xavier's trying. Thank God. Okay, this time I'm gonna stay with Xavier. What her life did to him? Why are you so curious about a rehab group? Because I'm worried about you, all right? I know that much. We are all worried about each other. That doesn't mean I'm gonna pry in your life, especially before the game that gets us Yo, out Yo, Xavier, here. you're a fucking blind fuck. You don't know this girl's in love with you. Guys. Oh my God. It may not seem important to you, but it's important to me, okay? How? Wait, what? <laughs> I like you. I like you a lot. I remember worrying about you every freaking day during college, but you never tell us. Me? What's going on? This guy is so blind. How did he not know? Oh my goodness. Holy shit. Xavier looks stunned. I kind of wish I had a camera. So I remembered looking up Game for Life and read about it being a rehab, so I pretty much learned that you were a drug addict, but that didn't matter to me. Lisa. So I kept trying to <laughs> Xavier is like, Lisa, please stop. <laughs> Lisa! I didn't want to lose another important man in my life, alright? I already lost my dad before college. I wasn't gonna lose the guy I like during it! Lisa? <laughs> Woo! Alright. <laughs> Holy shit! Uh, um, once again! I don't know why Chris is just in the room staring at them. I would leave at this point. Uh... You idiot. Alright, let's stay with Xavier. I probably should check on Xavier. Xavier? Hello, <laughs> Xavier. She, she kissed me. Yeah, that was kind of obvious. Yeah, buddy, she kissed you. When, when did she? Are you serious right now? Xavier Ex apparently stopped working. Dude, when did she ever like me? Oh my God, you, you're so blind. Jeez, this is straight out of a drama romance novel. We don't really have time for this. Xavier, are you all right? Huh? Uh, yeah, I'm. I'm fine. Oh my god. Uh, and he's gonna be thinking about that for a while. Great. You know what? I'm just gonna go. No, no, stay. Uh, sorry, I'll stop. I just... 
Yeah, that was. <laughs> he liked it. No duh. So, uh, did you want to talk to me about something? At this point, what can I say to you, dude? Honestly, I don't even know what to say to him at this point. I think Lisa pretty much stole the entire entirety of my momentum. Now I'm kind of at a loss for words like he is. Damn it, Lisa! No, I, I got nothing after that. Sorry. So much for trying to relax. Hey, Chris. Mm -hmm. Yeah? You're a really good friend. Ah, That came out of nowhere. Xavier. Seriously. Thank you for saving us. And being a good friend. Now I really don't know what to say. Would anyone like to confess their sins before their judge? I... Oh, here we go, finally. What? Huh? Xavier? Xavier, what did you do? What do you mean you think you do? I, I really don't know if it happened. Because I think I was high when it happened. Oh, shit. Oh, fuck. Where the fuck is he? I remember one night. It was the worst night of my life because it was what forced me to go into rehab. I was waiting for my usual dealer in the alley. And I was already high on some sort of mix of bath salts and spice. God damn, X-Men. You look like shit. What happened? J just a bad joint. Whatever. G give me my usual. I gotcha, I gotcha. But come on, you gotta tell me. Don't fuck with Ooh. me right now, okay? Shit, jeez, man, chill out. I know you want your crush, but fuck. Don't need to become a dog for it. Just pay up. You know, if I, if I compare him, he kind of reminds me of Nathan from Life is Strange right now. The way that he's acting. I didn't even know what I was saying. It was my first big smoke of it. It was already messing me up, not letting me think straight. That's when I remembered seeing someone at the edge of the alley. Hello? Oh, Sarah! Huh? A kid? Huh? The fuck? I think it was a little girl. She was watching us make a deal, but for some reason, I got pissed off. I didn't even care what time of night it was. She wasn't supposed to be there. Hey, what are you doing here, kid? Dude, cool it. It's a brat. Men? Are you fucking serious right now? Hey, did you bring her? No, it wasn't me. I think she's lost. Hold on. No, I'm not holding on for shit. Give me my fix and take your little girl home. Xavier, fucking chill. Uh oh. I couldn't control myself. I started yelling, trying to scare the kid off so I could get my fix. I think I even threw stuff on the ground. That's right. The camera threw something at her. Get out of here. Beat it. She ran off out of sight. Rushed out to try and make sure she left the area. I was so angry, my vision was blurry, and I couldn't even speak from the foam in my mouth. Xavier, cool it. Ah! Whoa, fuck it. I'm calling the huh? Xavier. What? Before I knew it, I passed out. Oh shit. I in a hospital. So he overdosed, pretty much, right? I apparently was out for four days with doctors trying to flush the chemicals out of my body. I didn't hear any Amber Alert. God. So this entire time you saw my sister but was too high to get her to safety? Is that justified or an excuse? It was then you decided to go into game for life. Okay, why does the mask have to narrate everything? Correct. Yeah. I couldn't remember that night too well. But I assumed the kid got home safe. I'm so sorry. Well, it didn't save Sarah, now did it? Huh? Because of your absent-mindedness to succumb to addiction, you allowed a young girl to be abducted. I'm sorry, okay? I can't change the past, but for God's sake, if I could have controlled myself, I would have. On my life, I swear. Okay, if I'm, if I'm, once again, it's like the others, I don't really, like, see them as guilty. Out of all the, probably the worst one is Xavier, because he was getting high. It wasn't like Peter, who was... Uh, at gunpoint it wasn't like lisa when her father died he was getting high he was essentially getting high and he saw her and but he was out for four days afterwards so he didn't realize that it was sarah what i'm thinking is just is, is it is the only reason he didn't tell chris about oh i saw this little girl that day even though he has no idea what sarah looks like he's never met sarah before but i'm assuming the only reason why he didn't say anything to chris is because he thought he was just high, so he was just imagining the girl there, you know what I mean? So I, I think that's probably why he didn't say anything. Because out of the both of them, Peter was the only one who almost confessed to Chris. 
But I don't know. You guys let me know if you guys think um, Xavier's guilty. Okay, this time I let the timer run out, so I think this is a different ending. I... I... I failed. Did I fail? Or did I just let go? No, I... I ran out of time, but could I have saved them? Was there any possible way to save all of them? Was that all just a facade? Why? 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 You allowed time to run out, and now all of them will die. Tell me, how does it feel to be a murderer? What the fuck? <laughs> oh, fuck this. <laughs> uh oh. <laughs> oh shit, Chris is broken! I think this is the line that Michaela was talking about. Damn! Ka Kagi! What the hell? Alejandro Slaps a very good voice actor. I, I gotta say that. <laughs> Fuck this. Fuck all of it. Fuck it. This is a nightmare. Fuck my friends. Fuck the kidnapper. Sarah's gone. Rosa's gone. Peter, Lisa, and Xavier are all gone. What's next? Hmm? Me? Me? Me. I'm next. I want to be next. Pick me over here. Woohoo! This way, Chris. 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 I'm next. Kill me next. I want to go. It seems that you've completely succumbed to your trauma. Help me, Emma too. Drown me too. You, you willingly will. give your life to me. Yes. Why wait? Stop waiting. Do it now. Fill the fill the lungs like balloons. Make my heart pop now. 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 Oh. Air, air, I need it, I need air, give me air. You interest me so much, Chris. I can't just let you go and kill yourself after that performance. What the fuck does that mean? Ah! Ah! Ew, what the fuck? I want to know everything that shattered in your mind. I'm too curious to let this research escape me. It's been a while since I've done brain surgery. Oh shit! I know my muscle memory will guide my bone saw perfectly. The question is, will your mind allow you to remember how to scream in pain? Oh shit! Ah, oh, pain, 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 pain. <laughs> what? A broken mind, a broken soul. What the fuck was that? I had a feeling that that guy would just like take him. Holy shit. All right. Okay, so that was Xavier's route. Fortunately, he doesn't have like a, s a single CG for himself. But that was really interesting, that ending. Um, kind of expected of the masked man, but yeah. Uh, let's take a look at the journal. March 3rd, 2015. I must admit, children are not as wretched as I imagined them to be. If trained and properly taken care of, they can be proven rather useful and entertaining. Sarah goes out of her way to keep the entire house dust-free and still manages to find time to draw pictures in the little notepad I had given her. Her art is novice, untrained, but still manages to make me stare at them in a small form of pride. Am I truly proud of her? All she has all she has uh, got, all she has drawn are butterflies, and yet I could tell that each one was unique. Whether I pointed out and asked what it, what it represents, she would smile and that damnable smile and tell me it was another child she knew or a person who was kind to her. There was one image, however, that I couldn't shake free from my thoughts and I needed an explanation for. On a very two pages of her little notebook were two butterflies, one small white and the other large monarch, or what I had assumed to be such a uh, with a orange crayon. I asked about it out of curiosity, needing to know. For once, she froze and tensed up. Her face usually brightened into some sort of innocent joy, melted in an expression of sadness and heartbreak. After a long moment of silence, she told me that it was her night. Her night? Truly? She had a wild imagination. I knew this, but a butterfly as a night? I had to deduce that it was a family member or a really close friend. A childhood friend, perhaps. Still, I couldn't help but feel upset that I had made her feel so downtrodden. 
She may have acted like she was younger than 10 generally, but at that moment, I saw a maturity of a teenager. She told me she had a knight who worked very hard, whom she looked up to dearly. Every morning, she would see them leave, then be the first to greet them when they returned from school. I was wrong. It wasn't a friend, but a family member, an older sibling. Apparently, the sibling was named Chris, and they protected Sarah from every everything bad in the world, making them her knight. When she started to talk about the day she was abducted, she began to weep and curl in into herself, whimpering that she was sorry about how she had let her knight down. I had stopped her and tried to comfort her, but she simply went to a fetal position and cried herself to the point of passing out. She's still out cold now, even as I write this. For some ungodly reason, I feel the need to reunite Sarah and her knight. It would take me a while, but she she seems to really desire to return home to Chris. I'll need to run down some tests on her to pin down her family in case of one of her owners trying to claim her as, her, as theirs. And then I'll have to pull some strings to get her there without an incident. I have to ponder. Huh. So he wasn't going to experiment like uh, Chris and Sarah together. He was actually going to return her back to the family? March 7, 2015. I was never the religious sorts. I have never believed in God. But today, I want to scream into the skies and curse the damn old deities for existing in a s social thought. Sarah is dying. Acquired immunodeficiency defici syndrome. The bastard people who kept her and passed her around dug their filthy hands in into her and graved her one of the most deadly diseases one could have. It is no wonder she looks frail. I should have done blood tests on her when I took her in. It's too late. There is no cure on this earth that can save her. Even with my brilliance, I cannot fathom where to begin if to even try. I have reached out to fellow scientists and my friends. All of them have come up with nothing. 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 At this rate, the disease is attacking her body. I estimate that she have one month left to live, perhaps two. Damn it all. She would die before I could return her home. Error. Unable to decipher remaining speech to text. Huh. So he's, uh, he was actually going to return her back to the family. Interesting. I'm missing one entry. I don't know if I can get it. But if not, if I don't actually get it, can you guys just tell me in the comment? Anyone who has finish the game and has the last entry let me know but anyway that was remember remember and essentially every single character's point of view so i hope you guys enjoyed this series and please at any time please get the game yourself so that michaela can make more games and possibly seduce me through that might be in the works but if you guys enjoyed this video remember to leave a like comment and subscribe to join the companions and let me know what you guys thought about xavier and if you think he's guilty and um the masked man do you really think he really loved Sarah or cared for her, as he says in his journals? In a fucked up way, I kind of think he did. Also, if you guys would like to support the channel on Patreon, there's a link in the description where you can check it out. Get early access to videos, videos for Patreon only, the Discord server to come talk to me, and a bunch of cool stuff. Also, if you'd like to check out my store, I'd really appreciate that as well. Anyway, I will see you guys in the next video. Bye! I'm sick of that, you'll be fine, just drop. <laughs> Man, you're so cute! No, you're right! I'll find another way! Can you see any kind of passage down there? This is too sweet. Tastes like shit. <laughs> you have bad taste. I don't even know how to start explaining how wrong you are. Who gets to put the pizza in?